The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, University of Illinois Chapter, has staged a rally against the moves by the federal government to adopt what they consider as casualization policy of its workforce by government. The branch secretary of the union, Olatunji Abduganiu, while speaking during the rally, warned against any attempt to apply the policy on the nation's academic staff members across the country. The demands of these university lecturers, which border on the release of revitalization funds, signing and implementation of the renegotiated ASU agreement of 2009, according to the lecturers, if not met by the federal government in subsequent weeks from now, may result into another round of indefinite industrial action. Coming days, the union will respond uh, to this decision of the government with a corresponding pay work policy. The union will also have to take the option of no pay, no work policy. And by that, it means we will have to abandon those assignments, those works that we are supposed to do for those periods that we are not paid. Oh, yes. We're raising our salaries is an attempt to turn lecturers into casual workers, paid by the hour. Yet, our work is 24-7. Oh, yes. Lifetime devotion. Yes. We are here now. And we are saying no to casualization. Yes. We are saying no to no work, no pay. Yes. We are saying no to injustice. Yes. We are saying no to disease tendencies. Yes. Tell Igigay, Igigay is not fair to us. Tell him it is not too late. He should be fair to us. Tell him as he will not be fair to him when we we'll write the history of this struggle. The lecturers also used the latest rally to demand immediate payment of their withheld salaries. Tell him appeal to Mr. President that he should pay us our withheld salaries. Yes. We are all tired of strike. Journalists tell them we are tired of strike. They should not allow us to go back to strike again. ASU only recently suspended its eight-month strike, hoping for a quick resolution of all contending issues. Weeks after the suspension of the strike, all seemed not to be going according to plans as government continued to remain adamant in meeting the union's demands.